Hello, Homestead. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Hello Homestead, it's Friday, March 15th, and time for another episode of HHS In Depth. I'm Carson Clymer. And I'm Ashton Hackman. Welcome to another edition of the show. On today's episode, we'll bring you stories of success by Homestead students competing at state title events. First with Homestead radio and TV students competing in the annual Indiana Association of School Broadcasters earlier this week in a report by Serena Lauria. Then we'll go back to last week as I bring you a story recapping how Homestead's DECA students did at State in Indianapolis. Reporter Jessica Walter will tell you information on Homestead's new National Honor Society board. Drew Persinger is back with another laptop lingo. And Alex Peters is in with this weekend's weather forecast. We'll bring you all those stories and much more, so stay tuned for today's episode of HHS In Depth. Begin today's show with a story over the Homestead High School Radio and TV Department competing at IASB this past Monday. Reporter Serena Lalaria gets you caught up on another successful season for our students in broadcasting. This past Monday, students enrolled in Homestead's TV and radio classes had the chance to compete in the annual statewide competition IASB in Indianapolis. IASB stands for Indiana Association of School Broadcasters. It is an annual event that takes place down in Indianapolis and it's been going on since 1986 and Homestead has been a part of it since 1999. What it is, is a place for radio and TV students from all across the state of Indiana and there's over 50 high schools being represented now down there to send in things that they've worked on in the past year to be judged by professionals and at this event they have an award ceremony where they'll announce the first, second, and third place winners and it's something that we've done quite well the last three years being named Radio School of the Year three straight years. Winning an award is a worthwhile experience that rewards students for all their hard work from this school year. Winning second place for my radio show, The Wild Ride with Jessica Walter, was really exciting. It was nice to be like recognized for all of the hard work that we're putting in every single week. For IASB, I entered into the music video category. It was kind of nice to get recognition for the work that I put into making the video. So the music video category was the most um, entered category in the entire competition, so it felt really cool to get second place. The experience of winning these awards made me feel really relieved, mainly just because I'd spent so much time on what I had worked on. Competing against other Indiana high schools comes with hard work and dedication to ensure the possibility of winning an award. The process of actually making the video was about uh, three days of planning. We talked to the guy whose song it was, it was an all original song. Then it was one night of shooting and then a couple days of editing until I got to a spot where I was pretty happy with it and they got second place. So Jessica and I are on the air every single Wednesday and so what we did was take a mix of all of the shows that we've done thus far this year and take out what breaks we thought were the funniest or had the best content and then put them into Adobe Audition and just kind of set up a whole show based off of different shows. Nearly 20 intro level students had the chance to attend the IASB awards and by watching their fellow classmates win these prestigious awards, it has inspired them to compete in the future IASB competitions as they go on to the advanced broadcasting classes in the future. 
After attending IASB, I realized that the radio program at Homestead High School is the best in the state and hopefully it will be the best in the state for years to come and I'm proud to participate next year. After seeing all the hard work and dedication my classmates put into their projects, it really inspired me to create one for next year to submit at IASB. Being at the competition definitely influenced me to stay in the radio and TV program and just try to enter more categories and create more projects and things because I didn't win this year, but I'd really like to win in the future. If you are interested in taking the TV radio class next year, talk to Mr. Schenkel, Mr. Dunn, or your guidance counselor. Reporting for HHS In Depth, I'm Serena Lauria. Audition workshops for the award-winning Homestead Show Choirs will be Monday, March 18th through Thursday, March 21st from 5 to 7 p.m. in the choir room. Go and get an informational packet from Mr. Shaw in the choir room today. After a short hiatus, Art Club is back in action. Do you enjoy being creative while learning new ways to have fun with art? If so, join them at the Art Club March 19th after school in room 108, where they'll be learning poured painting techniques. The March Madness Euchre Tournament will take place on Tuesday after school in room 212. Winner gets a huge trophy. All are welcome and snacks and drinks will be provided. Fall of 2019 Boys Tennis Players. There will be a short informational meeting on Monday, March 18th in the Freshman Academy Seminar Room from 6 to 6.30 p.m. Any students interested in finding more information regarding summer open court times and conditioning should attend. Remember, a current IHSAA physical dated after April 1st, 2019 must be on record in the HHS Athletic Office by June 1st in order to play this summer. Any questions, please contact Coach Moomaw. Lost and found items are located on the tables outside the Discipline Office in the 1012 building. See Mrs. Godfrey in the Discipline Office for valuable items such as jewelry, keys, electronics, and designer clothes. All items not picked up by the end of the day today will be donated. Last week, Homestead's business students traveled down to Indianapolis to compete at the DECA state competition. Here's my story recapping how they did this year. Last week, students involved in DECA headed to the state's capital to compete in the Indiana State DECA competition. This business and marketing program gives students the opportunity to practice the workings of a growing career field. DECA is a business competition and sort of club, so you can participate in a role play activity or there are also paper events. So the paper events usually entail writing a paper, giving a presentation, as well as sometimes you do a written test over business marketing material or hospitality material. So there are lots of events that you can choose from and be a part of within DECA itself. 2019 was a successful year for Homestead, with many students placing among the top competitors in several categories. 20 Spartans advanced to the International Career Development Conference in Orlando, Florida. Homestead did really well this year um, at the state competition and at districts leading up to it. Um, we have, I believe, 20 kids moving on to the international competition that will be held in Orlando. So that's really exciting. And overall, Homestead did a really great job, and we had a lot of people getting um, some hardware up on stage, so that was a lot of fun to see. The competition brings students together with the reward of seeing other Spartans being recognized for their accomplishments. I'd say some of my favorite memories from DECA this year were seeing that so many of my friends were advancing to the international competition and getting to see them walk up on stage, as well as just spending time with my friends, um, whether it was practicing presentations or getting to spend some time in Indy with my friends that weekend. It was a lot of fun. Homestead students interested in business and marketing are encouraged to join DECA to further their interest in a potential career option. People should join DECA because it helps you learn new information about business material. You get to spend more time with your friends while doing that, and you can improve your presentation skills as well as other important skills that will be valuable later on in life. If you are interested in competing in DECA next school year, reach out to current members or email Mr. McNeil. For HHS In-Depth, I'm Ashton Ackman. Design Club will meet next Monday, March 18th, after school in room 104 to finalize their Spring Art Gallery poster designs. If you cannot attend, please email your files to Mr. Mako by the end of the school day on Monday. The Homestead Book Club will meet on Monday, March 18th, after school in room 117. They'll provide club sign-up forms and a reading schedule, as well as have a pre-reading discussion for their first book. Join Young Progressives and Young Americans for Freedom for their March joint meeting today after school. The meeting will be held in the Media Center from 2.45 to 3.30. All are welcome and snacks will be provided. Do you like trivia and hanging out with friends? Latin Club will be hosting a second trivia night on Tuesday, March 26th from 6 to 8 p.m. Get your game on and show off your knowledge in a variety of categories. You can win a gift card prize. Teams can have up to four people and the registration cost for each team is $20. 
Sign up forms are available in Mrs. Beckman's room, room 604B, and Mrs. Waite's room, room 606. Just a reminder, any current junior interested in being a student section leader for next school year needs to apply for the duty by emailing Mr. Shankle at this email address. Please send this email from your SAC's email account. And now here's reporter Jessica Walter with information on Homestead's new National Honor Society Board. Attention all juniors who are current members of National Honor Society. It is time to start considering being an NHS officer for the 2019-2020 school year. Positions include president, vice president, senior and junior treasurers, and coordinators for tutoring, communications, projects, senior and junior hours, and the annual coffee house. This year's board members are looking for the most creative and unique board members for next year. Make sure to check your email for the NHS board member application shared with you through Google Docs. All applications are due by 11.59 p.m. March 29th, but earlier submission is recommended. Applications must be submitted as a PDF to Shrevan Kumar at shrevan.kumar at students.sax.k12.in.us and all positions will be announced in April. Reporting for HHS In-Depth, I'm Jessica Walter. Drew Persinger is back in this week with another edition of his computer tech tip show, Laptop Lingo. Hello, Homestead. Welcome to another very cool episode of Laptop Lingo. I've got a very quick segment for you today where I'm going to show you some ways to free up space on your computer so you can do more assignments and make more files. Let's go look at it. Clearing out space on your laptop is essential to ensure it continues running efficiently. An easy way to do this is to go to your laptop's file explorer and navigate into a file you have a lot of stuff in. Click the Size tab on the top and delete the unimportant files. Another method is to delete cached images in your browser. Go to the top right of the screen, More Tools, then Clear Browser Data. Leave every box unchecked except for the one to clear cached images. This will free up lots of space on your laptop. There you go, everybody. Now you know some useful ways to clear storage on your computer so you can keep doing those homework assignments that you're getting assigned. I'll see you next week to do some more talking about laptops. Until next time, I'm Drew Persinger. See you, Homestead. And now it's time for the weekend weather forecast. Here's an all-new Two and a Half Weatherman with Alex Peters. Hey, what's up Homestead? I'm Alex Peters. This past week had some pretty wet weather, but how's next weekend looking? We're gonna find out with this week's forecast, but first make sure to stick around until afterwards for a very special announcement. Without further ado, let's get right into the forecast. Tonight's gonna be rainy with a high of 43 and a low of 29. Saturday is gonna be mostly cloudy with a high of 37 and a low of 25. And finally, Sunday is gonna have morning snow showers with a high of 41 and a low of 25. Well, that was your weekend weather forecast. Your quote of the week comes from Steve Jobs, who once said, Tim Apple. Now, for our special news. If you haven't noticed, Ethan and I haven't really been here every episode. We've been very busy recently, so we're going to be taking a quick break from the weather. But don't worry, you'll be in good hands with our friend Easton Hensley, who's going to be taking over while we're gone. But we'll be back soon enough. Well, with that out of the way, I'll be off now. See you in a little while, Homestead. Well, that wraps up this edition of HHS in Depth. I'm Carson Clymer. And I'm Ashton Ackman. Thank you for watching today. Today, we leave you with a song exclusive to our radio station, The Point 91 FM. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you right back here next week. <laughs>